Hey there guys, I'm back. I'm here to show you how I was able to get all them tricks together with the uh, photo shoot with the owl that we did the other day. I don't have the owl, he's outside, but I can show you how I got all those behind the scenes shots. <laughs> So here's uh, what I did with my camera. So basically, I took, I went to the dollar store, got some cool stuff, and took these out, put these in front of my lens like this. I had my lens right here, and I shot through to where my owl was right here. And I got this neat effect that I'll show on the screen right here somewhere. So I use these right here. So that was one of the things I used. And then I got these kind of feathers here at the dollar store. You may not be able to see them that great. But uh, I took a feather, put it in front of my uh, lens, and I was able to shoot through the feather and get that nice effect with a uh, I don't remember if it was a yellow feather or an orange feather, but uh, you'll see. I'll uh, stick the picture up here. And uh, when doing these effects inside, uh, the main thing to remember is that you have to light the object in front of the frame. And how I did that was I had my two lights right here, and then I had another flash that was basically pointing right at the feather. That way I could light the feather in front of my lens and it would be lit. If I did not do that, it would obviously be dark and you wouldn't be able to see it. So, and let me show you. I had beads that I hung from this. So what I did was I put these beads in this basket like this. And I had my 5D Mark IV camera like this. And I shot through the beads and I was able to get those cool effects with the owl sitting about right there. So a few more of the effects. That, that, that's how come they were hanging like this. You could see the effect like this that I shot through. And once again, I had to have my flash right nearby to light the beads to get that effect or else they were, would have been dark. Outside where it's sunny and stuff and you have plenty of light, that should not be an issue with different tricks like this. I also shot the owl just through uh, a wire, wire mesh like this and just shot through. That also gave an effect. And then this was basically in the background, if you remember for some of my shots. And I basically put these in the back of the owl to make a nice background. And then if you remember, I had a shot like this of the owl. And all these were were a nice reflective bags like this that I got at the dollar store. And then if you remember, I had something like this reflective material. And this I also used putting on the side of my owl and shooting. So you could use all these things to make all those nice cool things that I did. I want to tell you a little bit about my flash setup you notice that my plant was actually lit with different colors. I use the MagMod system and with the MagMod system you have the colors. We, we used blue in this one and then I used a grid like this and the reason for the grid is I don't want the color to spill all over my plant and my and my owl. I want the owl to be the regular color and I just want the light to hit from this certain direction. So I used the blue and a grid on one side and then on this side uh, basically the flashes were set up like this one on one side one on this side and let me show you this grid right here this grid was purple 
like you'd see right there, purple. And uh, uh, here's the grid, here's the flash, or the, the colored gel, colored gel. So to get it more effective, to, to, to be more creative and stuff, you don't have to go that far to use all these lighting, to, to use these uh, flashes and stuff to make it look epic and stuff. The reason why I did that was to make it have a more of a production value, make it look more epic and cool and stuff. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm going to be doing more photography tutorials behind the scenes and how to basically explain how to do photography. I'll walk you through how to use one of the base cameras. I'll answer any questions that you guys might have. We'll get into video recording, video gear on this channel. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much. Take care. Have a good one.